Watkins in quickly with Galloway. Scampering run, typical of Roby, up the middle. Gets the pass away as well. Lomax, Lomax. Oh, brilliant footwork, he's back. He is back, Johnny Lomax. Delighted with that, and so are St Helens. The players race to Lomax to congratulate him on that try. And how good was that footwork? from this young man. No wonder he's smiling, no wonder Saints are smiling. First game since the 6th of March, 2015 at Wakefield. Two knee reconstructions later. Have a look at this again. Yeah, wonderful play there from Romy. Look how he spins around. He positions himself so, so well. What about the dummy? Is he back? Is he ever? And boy, it's a joyous welcome. Roby waits at dummy half, centre field, spreads it to the left to Walsh. He sees a gap, goes forward down the middle, and here is a try for Greenwood. What a start for St Helens. What a start for the former injured players. Joe Greenwood gets over the line. Back after the last two out. Well, this is the comeback, kids, isn't it? The Saints tonight. Low match and Greenwood with two early tries and leads on the back foot after only seven minutes. And again, it seems Roby at the heart of it, and once it gets out wide there, beautiful work by Percival. Watch how he gets up, plays the ball quickly. And Walsh, I've been critical of this guy, Luke Walsh. He doesn't take the defence on too often, but he did on this occasion, and he's been creative. Greenwood in for the try. Oh, oh that's away! Lovely scamper from Burrow, he's got Ablett in support. He might not need him, he does need him. But he couldn't get the ball to him, I think Ablett actually went ahead of Burrow. Short ball from him then to Jones Buchanan. He then finds Sutcliffe, booming pass wide, Golding will score! Golding. Unbelievable try saver, but they're on the route. They are on Lily the route. again, Lily again to Golding, Golding back to Lily. Here come the reinforcements, it's with Burrow! Burrow will get over, fantastic try! It, uh, the little fella goes into the controlling area at the dummy half, but uh, I know what will be said by Kieran coming into half time is that remember when it gets to five, the referee holds the, the arm up, you've got a kick. That's leads, a second leads occasion. Leads on the way here, leads on. Oh, was that ball put down? So no, it wasn't. Play on. This is Kyle Horse! Kyle Horse goes in! They were all over the shop, leads. They were out of it completely. Short ball from Wilkin to Amor. And as soon as he received that pass, he was clattered by Callum Watkins. Yeah, and he was hardly moving. He was stood still. You've got to run onto the football. Good Neat kick. kick. Low match again for St. Helens. I'll give this. Great kick that was by Walsh. Second try for Johnny Lomax. Well, it's you score, we score at the moment, and Lomax. This is a night for him to remember already. Win, lose, or draw. Two tries on his comeback. Silly Malali, high shot, when what they needed was just come poacher, and they've allowed the same to come through. Walsh's kick was superb, and Lomax, try number two. ...to speed it up there, but being in control of it, and shut down the offloads from Leeds. They need to concentrate on the short pass, no long passes here. And that ball has gone safely there with Ashton Golden. So the Brian Mc McDermott camp, he said that it's all about the start for this at this second half. Oh, there we go, there's a I think there's a try for Kyle Amor. It's a huge mistake. Well, they're going to ask a question about how that ball came available to Amor, but as you see, try. Phil Bentham has got a Checking try the on, on the field, and he wants to check the contact with Zach Hardacre Stewart. It's whether the tackle was legal. Was it a shoulder charge? Was there any contact with the head? And how does the ball come out? There's Carl Amor, who's going in. Looks like a fair tackle. It's a, it's a big impact as well, Stewart. Well, it's certainly not a shoulder charge. He's gone in with the chest. I think he makes contact with his own player. Liam Sutcliffe, isn't it? Yeah, there's Liam contact Sutcliffe. there with his head, which causes a problem. Yeah, loses possession. So the ball's loose, it's free. It's right Amor's time. got it, he's put it down. That's a try. That's a huge hit from Kyle Amor. Played three games as a rhino, Kyle Amor. 
comes up with an almighty shot on Zach Hardacre. And the try is given. We'll see how that alters the way that the Rhinos play. There is Falloon behind uh, Rob Burrow, put the ball away. Oh, brilliant feet from uh, Ash Handley, and Ash Handley has the pace to go all the way for the Aves. What a try from Ash Handley. And a big ten metres, ball! This game could go either way tonight, you get the feeling, and Roby gives it to Greenwood. Greenwood gets over! Second try for Joe Greenwood. Well, this is entertainment par excellence tonight. You are seeing some fantastic tries. 25 years of Sky Sports, it hasn't been much better than this throughout that quarter of a century. And this is where they lost control of it and got themselves into a position. And it's once again James Roby. Got the penalty, look how it just shifts back on the inside. Greenwood comes on the angle, and that is a soft try. Not seen by the official, that was a late pass. Reach tackle number five, here comes the last for Saints. Theo Fahn, Theo Fahn, brilliant! How many more great tries are we going to see tonight? Sensational from the French international, Theo Fahn. This guy has certainly got to grips with Saints play in the Super League just lately. It's his sixth start in a row. Got a try last week against the Dragons from Perpignan. And a try here tonight against the champions from Leeds. Well, Leeds give away the silly penalty from the prop forward Galloway. Puts him in a position. And I'll tell you something now. Watch Farge. Just make it look as though he's going to throw the ball out wide. That is... And play on, says uh, Brian McDermott off the sidelines. No interest in the two points. Why would there be with a ten-point deficit? Rob Burrow, and here they come again. Oh, it's a chance! It's a try! He's got it down. It's a try from Mullally. Oh, catches one for his corner. Doesn't complain. Gets up, plays it to Roby. Now it's Walsh. Tenave, the hair flowing behind him. Gets the ball away to Louis McCarthy. Scarsbrook, and he keeps it going to Walsh. This. Is Harlem Globetrotter stuff from these two sides tonight? Theo Fart's thought about the pass! Theo Fart! Oh! What a try from Theo Fart! They don't come much better than that, Eddie! Unbelievable! Absolutely unbelievable! Outstanding work! It's going to be the Phil Clark dozen this weekend. Well, he may as well make it three or four, doesn't he? Well, let's, let's have two or three fives, eh? I'm going to say we've had some, we've had some tremendous strides over two days. But look at the big fella coming through there. And it was that man, Clark, that came to the rescue and lost control of it. And what a wonderful game that the hooker, Gene Grove, has had. Here's the offload. The card this card's broke. Takes it through. But this is just magic. From the standoff, Theo Fard, Walsh, dancing, in and out. Shows the dummy, shows another dummy, shows the speed, takes the step. He knows he's got the speed. Oh, boy. They've reached the fifth tackle, the Saints. This now is... Fard. Off the post. Oh, and then locked over the line by Theo Fard. Theo Farge, the hat trick was beckoning. Well, he was, and he knows it as well. Okay, Jordan. <laughs> We've had a one point overdose for you, Mike, with this return this week. I've enjoyed every single second. One. But here's the fifth tackle, so last one coming up. Burrow again. Lily fires the flat pass to Sutcliffe. Sutcliffe with the kick to the corner. He finds him. He finds Tynehorst. Tynehorst scores the lead. Seconds are ticking oh. away, less than ten. Are we in for another Ryan Hall-style moment? Or a wide to West? No one will pass.